there's a little bit of ammonia in this water, so we need to dose prime at least every couple of days. So there is some nitrite in the water, so adding new fish right now is not ideal. Okay, so this tank has had a little bit of nitrite in the water, so I've done a double water change. Um, now the fish that we're adding is a coolie loach, which is this little wheelie worm fellow. Um, we're going to put a black molly. We're going to put a moss barb and a emperor tetra and a black neon tetra. Now these little fellas aren't really going to make any impact to the biological load at all, but we are going to add a rainbow shark. So we'll need to keep an eye on the rainbow shark because he's a lot bigger than the other fish, but there was a request for a larger fish. So um, it really should be okay. We just need to keep an eye on it. And I think we've got to not feed for the next um, week because we want to allow the good bacteria to establish because these fish have only been here for a couple of weeks now and it takes about a month for the good bacteria to establish in the tank. So if we keep the feeding down and then every two days, I would like a cap of this added to the water and this prime will help to detoxify any potential nitrite that might build up in the water. And then that nitrite um, if builds up enough can actually be toxic to the fish so if we keep the feeding right down and we um, keep the prime up and then we just don't add any more fish for uh, probably about a month and we just let this tank stabilize and then it should go really well but at the moment we need to keep the feeding right down because we're waiting for good bacteria to grow so there's a nice big filter here but we're waiting for good bacteria to grow in the filter once all the bacteria is grown in the filter, then this tank will be nice and stable. But at the start, you must go slow. So I've done a few water changes on this tank, hoping to bring the nitrite down because there was a little bit of nitrite in the water because it's still a new tank. I've added some extra cheap little fish, hoping that it hasn't increased the bio load too much. Now we don't really want to feed for the next week or two. We definitely don't want to be adding any more fish. So now we're just waiting. For good bacteria to grow in the filter just to make sure the tank's nice and established but at the moment everyone's looking very happy we also want to be watching the plant want the light on about eight hours a day and then if time we notice the plant going a little bit yellow we could add some iron-based fertilizer. If we notice a um, brown, al uh, like a black algae growing all over the leaves of the plant, then we could add some organic carbon. Starting to get the colour now. So in this water, the KH is four, which is good. The GH is ten, which is good. pH is seven point six, which is good. Phosphate's fine. There's a tiny bit of ammonia, a tiny bit of nitrite, and a little bit of nitrate. So the water's not perfect. But it's really not that bad either. Keep the feeding down for a week. Um, keep a little bit of prime up every couple of days, a cap. And then we'll monitor it and see how it goes. Before more fish go in, we need to test.